Hey guys, this is Rudy from Rudy and Marta Photography and today I want to talk to you about what a first look is and whether or not you should even have one. So when it comes to a first look, there's always a little bit of skepticism with the whole, oh, it's bad luck to see the bride in the wedding gown before the ceremony and all the hoopla around it. But uh, it's starting to become more and more popular with a lot of couples that they just want to go ahead and see each other before the actual wedding ceremony. It's not as, um, I guess taboo as it used to be and uh, it's a little bit more modern and allows a little bit of different uh, aspects within the timeline of the wedding day to actually happen. So first and foremost let's talk about what is a first look. So a first look is when the bride and groom they go to a secluded location and they see each other before the actual wedding ceremony takes place. This is something that pretty much involves the two photographers Marta and myself um, the couple, of course, and if there's a videographer or a pair of videographers, they would come along as well. Very rarely are other family members a part of that, and we don't really recommend it just because sometimes it can get really awkward when you're making out with your significant other and your mom and dad are watching. That being said though, it is a plus to have the first look before their wedding ceremony because you can actually knock out all of your family formals, your uh, bridal party, and your groomsmen's portraits right then and there right after the first look given that there is enough time before the actual wedding ceremony. It does add a little bit of flexibility because if there isn't enough time to actually knock out all that stuff, you can do it post ceremony as well. On top of that, you can actually take care of a couple of stragglers like uh, distant relatives, I guess would be the best way of saying it. For example, Aunt Susie or Uncle Joe, they pop up and you know, it's kind of like, oh my God, thank you for coming, blah, blah, blah. let's knock out a quick picture. Totally understandable and we can totally do that as well. Now, the ceremony happens after the ceremony. We can go ahead and do a couple of formals and again, that extended family uh, formal portraits that pop up. But um, then we would take a couple of more portraits of just you two and then we would let you go to cocktail hour. I feel like uh, that's one of the biggest perks that uh, happens with first looks is that you can actually celebrate with your friends and family during the cocktail hour leading into re the reception time. Um, now, that being said, there's other perks as well that come with the first look. Uh, me being a guy myself, uh, I'm not the most emotional, but um, I would have been more prone to be more emotional had I done a first look on my wedding day. Um, I definitely bit the lip and held my tears in, but uh, it may have been different if it would have just been Marta, myself, and a photographer. So that's something to take into consideration when you're planning your wedding day and your timeline is that you might be able to have that intimate moment where it's just you two. Another cool thing about it is that you can actually get rid of a lot of the nerves and the butterflies that you're feeling leading up to the actual wedding ceremony. A lot of people, they don't feel comfortable being the center of attention. There's a lot of type B couples that we work with and that helps a lot getting rid of the nerves and everything just leading up to it and having like a little conversation with somebody that you trust um, and your significant other leading to the wedding day. Um, on the other side of the spectrum, on the flip side of the coin, um, yes, it does break tradition. Um, technically, people say that it's bad luck to um, see your bride in their attire or your groom in their attire before the wedding ceremony. Now, that being said, I'm not a superstitious person. Some people are, um, and, and that's okay. But there's people that say that when it rains on your wedding day, it's bad luck. I mean, it's good luck, sorry. So does that mean that it's bad luck when it's sunshine? No, it's, it's just, you know, superstition. Um, but there are people that do want that experience, that they do want that Hollywood, you know, oh, I'm gonna walk down the aisle and he's going to see me and there's gonna be tears everywhere and it's going to be magical. And, you know, his, his best man's gonna go ahead and pull out a handkerchief, give it to him so that he can wipe away his tears and it's gonna be beautiful. Now, um, will that happen? I don't know, it depends on who you're marrying. But at the end of the day, uh, 
there are more chances that those tears will happen during your first look. It's just, it's just a little bit more intimate and off to the side and something that we always recommend. What do you think about first looks? Do you have any questions that I can answer in the comments? Um, I appreciate the fact that you went ahead and went through this video and you watched it. Subscribe if you enjoyed it. Give us a thumbs up and like that. Um, and if you do subscribe, make sure that you ring the little bell. That way you'll know when we post new videos. Um, and follow us on Instagram at Rudy and Marta. We're here to help you. So if you have any questions, let us know. Peace.